So as I'm recording, you can hear the gentle humming of a generator in the background. That's because our power has gone off again, totally outside of the scheduled load shedding timetable, even though I'm not saying that load shedding is actually any better or less frustrating. Guys, that brings us to the reason I made this video and why I was standing outside in the freezing cold after having a hot and cold shower. So I wanted to make this video for you guys to talk about something that has given me tremendous value in my life and that has helped me so much. I became an alcoholic because I couldn't deal with what I was going through. I couldn't deal with the trauma and I couldn't deal with the pain of what I went through as a young child. And over the last 13 years of working with, spending time with and getting to know my fellow addicts and alcoholics, I've realized that if not all of us, definitely the vast majority of us have our addiction and our using based in trauma and trauma that we didn't choose, pain that we didn't choose. And we found a way that was not healthy or appropriate because we didn't know any other way to cope with what we were coping, what we had to cope with, we had, how we were going to live, how we were going to deal on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe it started out as fun, maybe it started out as a way to numb, and it ultimately ended up nearly destroying us and killing us and ruining our lives and, and affecting very badly the lives of those around us and who care about us. And this all happened because of a pain that we couldn't choose. We're all going through pain right now that we didn't choose. And whether we want to deal with it or not, whether we want the pain or not, whether we choose this pain or not, we still have to go through it because it's our reality. It's the world we live in. We can't just turn off what is, is happening in the world around us. If we do through drinking or drugs or ignoring it, it's going to be to our detriment and it's going to be the de to the detriment of those who depend on us, who care about us, who love us, who need us, who need us to be present. So we have to be present. So I wanted to share this one small thing with you that has helped me in a huge way. It has made a massive difference in my life. And that is my crazy cold shower in the morning. And this is not for, I mean, there are tremendous benefits around it, but this is not for a health benefit. This is not to lose weight. This is for nothing else other than to give myself a healthy pain that I choose. And I stand there for 30 seconds or a minute or a minute and a half, very uncomfortable. And it's not about breathing techniques or finding ways physiologically to deal with it. It's purely mental. I endure this pain because I choose it. And I know that when I start my day with something that is so uncomfortable, so unpleasant, that I want to be anywhere else in this world right now than in that freezing ice cold water, then it fe I feel that it sets me up for the rest of the day. That doesn't matter what I'm feeling, I survived that, I can survive what I'm feeling right now. We didn't choose the pain that caused our trauma as addicts. But we can choose now what we do with pain. We can continue to avoid it. We can continue to run from it. We can continue to deny it. But it's there. And the thing that I've learned and that I've seen, I believe truly that the truly, excuse me, the body doesn't distinguish between physical pain, emotional pain, spiritual pain. Once that pain's at that level where your brain is going, Pain is pain and we will do anything to make it stop. When I work with my fellow addicts at Houghton House Rehab Center 
and I make the guys train really hard and I put them into very difficult physical positions, uh, exercises, movements, static holds that they genuinely believe they cannot complete the task I give them. And then when they do, that light switch goes on. Like I did that, I survived that. Maybe I can survive other things. I didn't believe I could do this, but I did it. Maybe I can do other things. Maybe I can do more. Maybe I'm capable of doing more. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, guys. Try out this crazy cold shower thing. Or try out a plank. Or try out anything. Because the one thing I've realized over the years is addicts who work their recovery and live lives in sobriety know really well how to deal with pain and trauma and emotional stress and anxiety all of these things that we're going through right now whether it's a push-up whether it's doing some exercise or whether it's something as simple as turning on the cold water for five seconds because nick said you should try this it's pain that you are in charge of you can turn it off at any time or you can avoid it completely and i'll tell you this guys when there are days where i really don't feel like it i don't have a cold shower i have a hot shower only but then i'll say hmm, you know what i bunked yesterday i'm going to double it today or an extra 30 seconds or whatever because i enjoy it so try that guys start out your day with choosing appropriate healthy uncomfortable and learn to get comfortable with being uncomfortable because when we get comfortable with being uncomfortable we don't feel overwhelmed we don't feel helpless and we don't feel powerless we don't feel that there's nothing we can do we start to believe okay there is a way out i can turn the tap off i'll turn it off when i'm ready and I can find a way out of what I'm going through. To be able to feel, to believe, to know, to understand that you're not helpless is something that is incredibly empowering. And it's something that we can build our life on in this new world. Guys, thank you for listening. I hope this has helped in some small way. I'm very grateful for all the amazing feedbacks and comments that we get. So try it. Just get, choose something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Choose something, that pain, that physical pain that is healthy and appropriate. Put yourself in it for an amount of time that you determine up front and stick it out. And realize... I really, th I gave myself 10 seconds. After three seconds, I wanted to stop. After five seconds, I was going to turn that handle. But something made me stick it out, and I did. I stuck it out. I can stick out whatever I'm going through today. I can survive it, and I'll get through it. And all we have to do is deal with today. Just today. From the time we wake up in the morning to the time we go to bed. We can plan for tomorrow and we can learn from yesterday. But all we can deal with is today because it's all we have to deal with because it's all we can deal with. So try it, guys. Start out your day with a little bit of pain from Nick because I love you guys. And all I want is the best for you. And I want you to realize how powerful and amazing you are because I see it every day people discovering their awesomeness inside thank you guys for your time i love you all Oos.